<laughs> hey everyone! Hello! Welcome to Knitistry Nerds. We Episode 18. 18. We're getting very close to not having enough fingers. Oh, I'm supposed to do the 10. Do the 10. I'm the 10. 10. 10. Yeah, there we go. That was 18. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Katie. I'm Michelle. We forgot that the other day. <laughs> we did on the, yeah, with the live With our live feed. On. We forgot to tell everybody who we are. Yeah, and we talked about it the next day. We are like, whoops. We're science teachers in the upstate of South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And uh, hence the periodic, periodic table. And we're knitters. We're knitters. Yarn lovers. Yarn lo- yes. Yeah. Yarn yeah. hoarders. <laughs> Hoarder, it's hoarding. not hoarding if it's yarn. It's if it's I have a coffee cup that no. says that. It must be true, right? It's if you have a coffee, coffee cup. cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, um, Our mascots, we have Earl the Earl of Meyer flask. And Rhonda the Round Bottom flask. <laughs> They're so cute. They're here too. See, I, I've been having them hidden the cat has not messed with them them. that's why he jumped up over there he saw mm -hmm. the tailless wonder is sitting over here on the corner of the table on the other side of my bags so every once on his head pops up and he looks at us so you never know what's going to happen um it is wednesday february 22nd for filming uh, it's been about two weeks since we filmed. I guess well, right it's at like two an official weeks. Week, official yeah. episode. official episode. Last week we did our cast on party. party. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. We guys. had a ball. We we enjoyed hanging out with you guys and casting really on did. and connecting. It and was fun. We'll do it again. Maybe we'll have a cast off party. Or a bind Ooh, off a bind party. off party. I could have had one last night. Mm. I was bound, binding it in and off yesterday. I did. I binded I bind it off Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to stop making up words. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I don't have a lot in the ways of things, but Michelle has got us, got us for I this did. episode for sure. I did. Um, is there any other housekeeping things or weird things? Do we have I didn't look up. Things? Thought... We're not running a knit along right now. No. We're going to have one. We <gasps> oh! need to do it for summertime. We have 965 subscribers. We are Yay, so close, we're very close to getting to 1023 so that we can do a really big giveaway. Um, I was thinking we could do like gift cards to places. Like, <gasps> oh, about, like, you yeah, know, that would be cool. Maybe a couple, throw a couple gift cards in there and buy some yarn. I've got like. Pearls yeah. and postulates, <gasps> since they're science themed and oh, stuff yes. like that. That, that would be, be cool. Fun. That would be cool. We got a lot to talk about per- pearls and postulates. Yeah, I um, we'll definitely show yarn next time. It's at my house on my porch right now. Oh, um, oh, wait, well, it gives us something to show next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll have and I have, about that. I have something to talk about. Okay. Um, I mean, when we get to that point. Oh, okay, okay. Um. If you're a first time viewer, welcome. welcome. We're so glad to have you. Please hit us subscribe. Um, we gave a giveaway for 602, 602, and so our next one's at 1023 because that's Avogadro's, Avogadro's number. number, 6.02 times 10 23rd. The mole in chemistry. The mole, which is the heart of everything in chemistry. That's how I teach it, so yeah. I have to say it that way. Um, I have to. <laughs> you know, kids will require it. And if my kids are watching, don't tell anybody <laughs> <laughs> what you saw. Um, yeah, don't, don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> you don't talk about Knit Club. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about Knit Club. Uh, <laughs> what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which. Here it comes. Here it comes. One of my girls, my students my in chemistry, um, Sierra, if you're watching, hello. Um, they went to Vegas over the long this long weekend you went four days to off. see Adele. <gasps> she Ooh. saw Adele. Oh, I bet you that was fun. She had a ball. She still had to show me the videos, but she took videos to show me, so... <sighs> Um, I haven't seen them yet, but um, we keep running out of time in class. But yeah, um, yeah too she much went, chemistry. She's, yeah, that's right, too much chemistry. <laughs> yeah, I gave a quiz today. They couldn't talk me out of it today. I let them talk me out of it yesterday. yesterday. I was going to ask. <laughs> they couldn't talk me out of it today. They did talk me out of it yesterday. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, so oh, that's exciting. Went to Vegas to see Adele over a weekend. Yeah, and this morning she she drags it and goes, "I'm still in Vegas time." I'm still thinking. <laughs> It was funny. <laughs> she was late. <laughs> so, Sounds about right. It was funny. Sounds about right. Oh my goodness, kids. Mm. Kids. Yeah, it's, it's coming back after a, the kids were off for four days is is interesting to say the least. It is interesting. It is interesting. Things we've seen. Um, so yeah, housekeeping. I think we said it all. Yeah, I think we did. If you're you're a, a, one of our regulars, thank you for coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sticking <laughs> with us. Um, <gasps> next time we have a live, we're gonna try. We'll try to do different time zones because yeah. I, mean, I know that a bunch of people couldn't watch because it was the wrong time for them. So we'll and experiment with different over, times. So the weekends are over, so I can open. have I can have weekends again. So we might be able to do one late on a weekend or early early on a weekend something like yeah. that. Yeah. Definitely over the summer when you know yeah. we've got no school or anything like That's that. That's right. So. Um, let's do. Um, okay, 
I had it open. Let's do the, the craft fest thing. Yes. Let's so do somebody it now. So we invited us to a craft fest. Yeah, Kara on Instagram invited us to come be part of the craft fest in Charlotte. It's the Charlotte Region Arts, Fibers, and Textiles Craft Festival 2023. Mm -hmm. And it's March 25th and 26th, that Saturday, Sunday weekend at the Petty Thieves Brewery in Charlotte. Now, okay, here's here's the, whoa. Oh, you got to turn, I gotta turn my brightness down. down. I'm old. I need brightness on my phone because I can't see. The teenagers come over to show me something on their phone. I'm like, you can yeah. turn that brightness up. I they have it all the way on dark, so they can't. You can't tell if they're well, on the phone. Well, it makes or their not. battery last too. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's so it. Charlotte region area fibers and textiles. Yeah. I'm trying to read backwards and kind of upside down. Um, and they've got all kinds of things going on. They even have a brew named after. A beer? It's called Stitch and, mm. Stitch and Brew. Stitch and Brew. I think is what she told me it was called. So their group meets there all the time. So That's, um, a, great, that's a great place to do knitting yeah. or knit, meets up, meetups and stuff. Okay, so what's going on is there's vendor booths, a viewer's choice art show, demonstrations, classes, and food trucks, food trucks. all at the brewery. Um, they're going to do some make and take stations. Um, they have classes. So you can sign up for different skill classes. And then there's all kinds of local makers and craft suppliers and stuff who'll be vending. There'll also be food trucks and live demos, an art show. And the brewery. And the brewery. <laughs> we keep coming back to that. <laughs> the brewery. Maybe they have I've never, something gluten free. Never had beer from them before, to be honest. I've never done anything. I haven't I haven't ever been there, so um, oh that's just the application. I was checking see. Um, they do yeah. a yarn bomb. And so this year, I think she said there was a giant beer, beer mug. mug. They're yeah. doing a yarn bombing. So if you look at their Instagram, they've collected um, yellow squares to do some kind of yarn bomb beer mug. Uh, okay, Universal Yarn is one of their sponsors because it's on their tote. There's a free tote when you check in. And it's got a Universal Yarn logo. So you know that's going to be part of it. They're going to be having raffles. There's a picture of some of the things they're raffling off. Or raffling off. Queen City will be there. And they have a stitch marker hunt. Ooh. Where for a five dollar donation you get a wooden marker and necklace and you hunt for the rainbow markers around the festival. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun! Isn't it? Isn't it? There you go. Dang you, That's Rachel! So cute. Her sister's getting married the on the twenty third, Thursday. On Thursday, Thursday, that week. I love you, Rachel. But Thursday, she Thursday. wanted okay. She wanted a palindrome wedding. Yes, on so it's three twenty three, twenty three. So three twenty three, twenty three forwards and backwards. And I get that and I love it, but good courthouse and then have a party. Oh, did you see somebody posted the other day talking about palindromes? Um, the last day of this year is one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. It's 12, 31, 23. Rachel, I have that time off. You just want to the wedding. <laughs> a New Year's Eve wedding? Wouldn't that have been, <laughs> that that have been cool? And it's yeah. a palindrome. Y'all yeah. waited this long. And I have a time off already. It's, it's a holiday. <laughs> it's like, there's not going to be a yarn event on New Year's Eve. No, definitely not. No, no yarn <laughs> events. But I'm just kidding, Rachel. Anyway, we told Kara we'd talk about it. And um, depending on Katie's schedule, we'll, we both will be there. Now, I might go to Rock Hill and stay the weekend with my daughter yeah. and get her to go with me on Saturday. Um, if Katie can, or Katie can go, we can, she can go with me too. Yeah. Sarah now has a two-bedroom apartment. Nice. And um, there's room for more than just, you know, you? A shoehorn. A shoehorn. Oh my God, that old apartment was easy. It was a one bedroom, teeny tiny bed. Anyway, she now has a two bedroom because her little brother's going to move in with her this oh. summer. <laughs> He's already put a bed. It's his room now. So it is his room. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Might Even though well he's still living in the dorm. But yeah, so my two children would be, li two of my children would be living together. Okay, sponsors uh, Charlotte Yarn, Craft CLT, Craft Charlotte. That's the group that's putting it on. 923 Fabrics and Crafts and Hearts on Fiber. Oh, so There's the sponsors. Hearts on Fiber. I like the little logo there. I it's do cute. too. That's a cute logo. All right. So we want to make sure we told you all about that. Again, I just have to see. I know it's a six-hour drive from her wedding destination to Charlotte. I just have to figure out the logistics of the weekend. She, yeah. she hasn't even sent out invitations. So. I know. She'll get there. She's like me. I was like, yeah, she'll, she'll if you get want there. to. Yeah, it'd be all right. Just <laughs> wanted to get married, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, we just got get to get, get her done. Yeah. So okay. So, a, yeah. what's next? You want to do FOs or whips or? You have two FOs. Let's talk about your FOs. I have two FOs. Two FOs. Okay. I finally Uno. finished. Later than everybody else, probably. But I finally finished the Cozy Up Knits Mystery Knit Along, the Mini Me. And, okay, let's find 
There we go. Here we are. It's not blocked. Of course not, people. We just realized. <laughs> I've got Shaw I finished two years ago. Yeah, it's two years. It's it still two years. has not been blocked. Therefore, not been worn. I have a sweater I finished two years ago. Not blocked. I have a one-year-old sweater. Not blocked. I need to block. So, here we go. Maybe we should have a blocking party. That's what we... Oh! Because I use this room in here for blocking anyway. Yeah. You have to get some more mats. You got enough mats? Uh-huh. I got that set and I got another set just like it in the garage. There you go. Because, you know, me, if I order one, I might as well order two. I think I have like three things I could block. We could do a blocking party. We could. I could show how I hang it on the clothesline in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> that's how... Oh, seriously, I do... This, and that's where this will be. I'll take. I'll do a little video that we can That'd insert, yeah. or I can put on Instagram, um, of me hanging one on the clothesline in my garage. But okay, this is. I, I'm just. I'm sorry, y'all. As usual, I'm babbling like a crazy woman. You want to take it and go oh, that way? No, I don't want to at all. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not. Gonna I made. In this. From what I've seen of the ones online, I made more border than a lot of people. It was optional how long you wanted to do it, and I just kept on going until I finally got tired. No, but nice. um, so here's the mini me mystery no long, and the yarns are all, almost all from Molly Klein Designs Sweet Tea Yarns, and there you can see it. This wild amalgamation of colors. Most of them are from the what was the name? Encanto. Of the movie? Encanto movie. And this okay, I gotta tell y'all guys. The, it, if you didn't do the mystery no long, I know Amy and um, Tammy did the, and Cheryl all did it. Um, this was a fun knit. It really was. Because you never got bored. There's lots of short rows. And these Colors. patterns, stitch patterns. Now, I love seat stitch. But um, I enjoy, okay, and I don't much care for eyeliner. Lacing. But it was not bad, and it wasn't that much. And I loved the bubble stitch, dot stitch, whatever she called that. And then um, this was a twisted rib. These last two colors were twisted rib. And this was a real simple lace on the border. But that was it. It was a fun knit. I enjoyed it. It looks pretty too. And I, while I was knitting, I was thinking I wasn't going to wear something with all these colors in no, it. No, I think it goes with everything. But I bet you I wear this thing a lot. But you have a lot of neutral shirts too that you could just. Yeah, well, I tend to wear solids. Yeah. I finally have accepted the fact that I am not going to wear any of those print shirts hanging in my closet. I wear solids. I mix colors, but I wear solids. My my prints my my is in my knits. Yeah. Yeah, is how I do it. The... So I'm not gonna put that back on. I'm hot. Yeah, I'm she wearing... is. Yeah, I am hot. <laughs> Just ask my chemistry class when they want me to put off a test. <laughs> I get off. You look I, so good I look today, so Ms. good. Kessler. I have the best style in the building, and I'm don't look my age. Did you laugh age. and say something about I did. I was, grandmother? I, I did. I was laughing like crazy. I finished the depth cow. Yay. I finished the depth cow. I'm gonna show She's... you the pretty part first. Okay, so. That's the way I'm going to wear it most of the time is because Mostly I like orange. purple more than I do orange. So I'm going to wear it this way. Although I could change it so that, you know, the purple is looks like the stain the down the middle. Yes. Now, let me just say, um, this is the depth cow. And I'll, I'll link it one more time in the show notes. And I can't remember the designer's name right now to save my life. But, um, and I've already archived the pattern in Knitting Genius. But, um. When I do my second one, because I have another skein of yarn to do, black and rainbow, I am going to do a provisional cast on. And then I'm going to do my best to graft it together at the end. Because this wasn't a provisional cast on, and so then I get to the end, I've got, I have cast on's edge and I have live stitches. And it's a hollow tube. And I wanted to keep it as a hollow tube. So that, see, it still pulls apart. I wanted, so I could change it if I wanted to, whichever direction I wanted to wear it. But it gets real persnickety because you got to make oh, it match. So and I, I, I did it, it, it didn't match. Okay, so this, to me, those stripes don't, don't line up real well. And I, I, so I didn't, that was going to bother me, I think. So I, what I did was I picked up my cast on edge and knit it together with the live edge and then bound it off, just like a traditional bind off, like knit two together, flip one over, all that good fun stuff. So there we go. So it makes that ridge, but I don't mind it so bad. I mean, it, it's an obvious demarcation line. Um, and I don't, I like that I think better than I would the other way. 
I mean, yeah. with trying to graft them together and then it really not matching. That would, I think, would freak my, what little OCD tendencies I have out. But that just tells me where the back is. <laughs> yeah. So that's the back of my depth cowl. That looks good. Yeah, see? And especially if my hair's down, you won't ever really see. Yeah, you, you can't You tell. can't really tell. No. Well, I know you can't see it, but if I... See, that doesn't... When you're wearing it, it doesn't really show. I could even wear it like that, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't be. A, it wouldn't that be a big nah. a deal? But um, it was a fun knit. I loved watching the yarn change and and trying to keep the orange together and <laughs> knitting tight or knitting loose, trying to get the orange to stay in the same gap. That was fun, actually. It, it was entertaining. It kept it from being just boring stockinette all the time, which is what it is. But it it was entertaining to knit. I never got bored with it. It's good. So. I finished it, and I showed my husband. He goes, when are you going to wear that? I said, well, not when NC State plays Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> but I do occasionally wear Clemson stuff. Oh, yeah. So. Okay, that's my two FOs. Two FOs. I have one Ooh, kind of I FO. I had two finishes. There, it's not done, but I can I can do a whip. She has a hat. Can kind we call that a half FO? A half FO? A half FO. It's a hoe? <laughs> no. It's can't not. call it a hoe? Can't call it a hoe. A half done <laughs> object? H-O. It'd be an H-O. It'd be an H-O. Okay. I've been working on this forever, but I've been working diligently. So here is, again, Hinterland by Isn't Jennifer gorgeous. Stein... Steinglass? Steingas. Steingas. So I finished a sleeve. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's so pretty. Uh, yarn is Stroll Tweed by Knit Picks. It's really pretty, 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 pretty. I love that it's the tweed. So I've got... I've started the second sleeve. It's getting there, and then I'm going to do a ton more on the body after I get this sleeve done, but I am, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So. Yeah. yeah. I used my fun little neck lamp in the car. Really? Chewy, you can wait. The answer's no, Chewy. Yeah. Don't eat your food. Yeah, she, okay. this past weekend, my husband and I went to Asheville for the weekend, stayed in downtown Asheville. It was our anniversary trip to celebrate our anniversary, and, um. We're finishing up on Monday and getting ready. We're eating lunch and getting ready to come back home. And she texts me that they're in downtown Asheville. Zach wanted to go to Asheville. <laughs> she and her husband just went up for the day. <laughs> but we were already on our way out of town by the time we figured all this out. So I spent. It was funny. Oh, gosh. 20 some hours on the couch doing homework Saturday and Sunday. Oh, so yeah. we were getting out. We had Monday off because of the holiday yeah so we, we did we got our school district it was out it was nice it was um, so on the way back dark but i got to use my little neck lamp this thing works so great guys i don't even think i need it i need to order still, i i like, want yours it's got three different colored lights and then it's got five different brightnesses and it was great because you can pinpoint exactly where you want to knit with the light so i am yeah. still loving this thing i'll link it below but absolutely yeah, and it just wraps up, and it's chargeable, so you don't have it's to carry rechargeable. don't carry batteries. Um, and then it'll if you're using it for reading, which is what it's technically for, um, it'll vibrate every 45 minutes to kind of tell you to give your eyes a rest. What you need for knitting too? I turn it off. I don't need to know that I've been knitting that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like my Fitbit says, "Oh, you need to do your 250 steps this hour." I'm like, "Oh, shut up!" <laughs> I know I'm good. <laughs> you have 250 steps remaining for this this. Power. I'm like, yeah, I'm shut good. up. I, mean, okay. <laughs> I don't get to sit down a lot. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not getting up. <laughs> we'll, we'll try next hour. So I have a sleeve FO. Hopefully that'll be done, Yay. you know, maybe before the end of March. That's maybe. a goal. That's a goal, yeah. Well, you just, yeah. you have one more sleeve and then the rest <laughs> the of the body. body. just knit, 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 knit. Yeah, that was so that she could see how the sleeve, sleeve affect the length of the body. Because I think it's going it to matter. it does happen. It's going to matter. Especially with this one. When so. it's fitted, that mm -hmm. it really does make a difference. The sleeves don't have um, ribbing. You actually do a stock in it so it rolls, which I think is kind of a cool idea. A rolled cuff. Yeah, a cool. rolled cuff. So. Rolled edge, I guess is, would be better. Yeah. I think, so you're supposed to do, like you didn't, you don't do it on the neckline either. So that's rolled. And then you're supposed to do it, it's supposed to be ribbing on the bottom. I don't know if I want to do ribbing on the bottom. Do a roll. I think it'd just be cute as a roll, like yeah. all roll. Because you're going to do color work at the bottom, right? No, there's no color work. Oh, I thought there was color work at the bottom. Mm -mm. No. I mean, I could put some in there, but I think I just want to... Well, that works. I think it's be done. Okay. But yeah, that's so that's my, my one 
No, I have two more, but that is, I bound something off. It wasn't a lot, but I did. <laughs> that counts as it. It counts as partial it. FO. A hoe, apparently. It's a hoe. It's, it's a hoe. Kind. Well, that's what sock knitters call when you finish one sock. It's a hoe. It's a hoe. It's a half finished object. So it's. Which it's, doesn't make any sense because it's all done. alone, and hoes don't like to be alone. Well, yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> We digress. We digress. <laughs> Again. All right. That happens. I've got only two more um, whips. What you got going on? How many whips you want to talk about? Whip, okay. I was telling Kate, I did a count. I have a note called the Whips Parade because I listed all the things I have on the needles. I currently have seven sweaters, five shawls, one cowl, four socks, pairs of socks. These on are all the needles. active things or something? Like- they're all on just, the needles. Just on the needles. Okay. Because I have 18, yeah. but they're, I have a few that are not active. Well, okay. Except for one of them. I've knit on all of them in the last month. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so technically, they're except well, not the socks. Yes. Only one pair of the socks has been active in the last month. The other three are long term. Yeah, they're just sitting there. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. Cause, At least for us. <laughs> yeah. Um. One of them's just all I gotta do is like this much, including the toe, and it's the second sock will be done. First sock's already done. It's just getting, just telling yourself to do it. Yeah, it's just getting it done. Sometimes, sometimes you just can't get there, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but um, what have I been working on since our last? Okay, I fit, I did a little bit more in autumn league, but I still hadn't finished that first sleeve. It's the so. life of a knitter, right uh, there. Okay. Like knitter, knitter, knitter. Yarn furs face. in my mouth all the time. Um, okay, the other night we had our, last week we did our cast on party, I actually cast on three. I cast on Elton Pullover by Hohi Locatelli, but I don't, we aren't going to talk about that yet. We'll do that yeah, together. Yeah, I've got mine we'll too. In the middle. Um, I also cast on Alder Grove. Let me show you that one. Um, oh, wait, let me pull it up in Alder Grove. I think you can, that'll be able to be seen. Can you tell? Okay, let me, there, that's about as less, least amount of glare as I can get. All right, it's Alder Grove. It's basically a drop shoulder pullover um, that um, is alternating regular sock wool with fingering weight, with a slub, a fingering slub weight. And um, I found that and I thought it was so cute. And I have... Excuse me while I pull this out. Do you want me to mute it so the crinkle's not there? No, I just muted it over. Okay. okay. I'm doing it out of these two yarns. This is Chelsea Lux Cobblestone, the slub, in vanilla latte. And then this is um, Red Stag Fibers Birch. And they're... So those two together are going to be that alder grove. Now, I only... I, I cast on last week, I like, what... 40 stitches mm-hmm. doing one of the shoulders and then I haven't touched it since but I mean that was one of my cast ons for this last two week period that's new I also cast on time dilation shawl um, let me switch over to where is time dilation dun, 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 dun. sorry guys I swear it's here somewhere there it is boop this is the one you did with your big, big Yeah, with my yarn. big ball of yarn. All right. I think you can... There. It's a textured shawl. And it's done in a gradient here in this sample. Um, it's by Emily Wood. So, Time Dilation by Emily Wood. I cast it on... Chewy's in a mood today. Chewy's in a mood. I know. And he's barking at... Uh, who knows what he's barking at? Silly old dog. I'm sorry, Katie. She, she's closer to the door. I'm blocked in. You know what he wants. <laughs> no. No, Chewy, go lay down. Eat your puppy food. We're having trouble get. He, he want, all he wants to have is a T R E A T, and not. Um, I have to spell it or he'll you go crazy. You know you crazy. have dogs or kids when you, you have, have to spell, spell things out. <laughs> um, but he won't eat his dog food, so 
he just wants the T R E A T S. So now we, we're we're making him eat his dog food, and then he gets a T R E A T. I'll bring some. There's this. James calls it Pavlovian tra- training. It is Pavlovian training. It is. <laughs> so we're trying to get um, him to eat his dog food. We've got this beef flavoring powder that we put on top of the dog food. I'll bring you some and see if it works to like get him. Yeah. Eating. He the only time he eats is in the middle of the night when we're all in bed and can't see him. He comes in here and eats because yeah, we get up. I get up in the morning and he's eating a big old chunk out of it. So. That's so funny. <laughs> I know. All right, so time dilation. I cast on a few stitches of it, but I took it with me to Asheville and cast on something new while I was in Asheville because I found a yarn shop in downtown Asheville. Who'd have thought? And so, um, yeah, there's this cast on. I pulled it off the needles. I pulled it off the she needles. She's done. I only had three stitches anyway, but um, so I'm going to do it again. There's actually six colors in here. I talked about this on the live, but, um, and I meant to go by Hobby Lobby and get a picture of, of it the... on display so that you could see what it is, but. Basically, they sell a, a collection of six different colors. There's 105 yards of each color. It's a wool acrylic blend. And um, six different colors, 110, 105 yards each. So there's 630 yards on one bundle. I got two of the bundles, and I magic knotted them together into a single ball so that I have a gradation uh, gradient already done. And I just knit, knit, I can just knit, knit, knit. So I'm going to cast that back on this week. But um, I wanted those needles for something else while I was gone. Um, It's got a cream and a gray and a blue and a green and this pink. It's, um, and I can't remember what this is called. I had the the tag somewhere. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to find a link to it in, for Hobby Lobby's website and put it online. If not, I'll get a picture. We'll get a picture. Is yes. This, Katie's uh, trying to find it, but... It's not really showing. It's, it's, I know it's Yarn B. I can filter. I know it is. Um, oh, here's a tag right here. Oh, that will help. I can just Google the earth. Pigment it. plus fiber. And it's called Arcadian Sky. Let's see. There's what the tag was on it. It had a big piece of cardboard off and all six balls were up on top of that. They were not connected on this thing. I, I magic knotted them together. Um, they might not have it anymore. It may not. It, or it may just be in stores and not online. That's, that's possible because yeah. I'm not seeing it online anywhere. All right. I, that's not what I want. I'll see what I can find. Um, I'll go take a picture of it. Um, anyway. It's not on there. Okay. We'll figure something out. Um, but I saw because I wanted a gradient shawl. shawl, and so that's what I have here, and um, I will cast that back on since I've moved it. But that was from the cast on party the other night. And the fourth thing that I picked out, I haven't started yet. I didn't get it cast on because it's all charts, so I haven't done it yet. And I'll when I do that, I'll show it to you guys then once I get some progress made on it. Um, <clears throat> I'll talk. I, I have two of my cast ons. I cast on. F- Four, I think total in the end. Yeah. Let me make sure. I know I cast I technically on cast four. on three, but only two are still on the needles. Let me see. Valentine's. Because I took the other one's needles um, away. But I'm going to cast it back on. It, yeah, I only cast on four. Yeah. Um, and I have two of them with me. The other two, um, uh, capsule. Capsule. I didn't bring it with me because I haven't done anything on it. And the other one... Did I cast on something else? I guess I only cast on three. My brain has stopped functioning. <laughs> we can't count. <laughs> Maybe it was three. Let's go with three. Because I don't see anything else that I cast on. You cast on Rachel's thing. Because I didn't know what size she wanted. That's right. That's one you didn't that, cast on. That might on. be what I'm thinking. Oh, I went to cast on the sparkle scarf and it. I needed provisional. And at that point it was nine o'clock and we were done. Yeah, we yeah we had to go home. time to go. Yeah. Two hours of life. That's what I had. Yeah, we had That's two right. hours. So of three. Life. So one of them is at home. The capsule. I started a pocket. I yeah. haven't knit anything on it, so it's just okay. a few rows of blue. Well, you want to show Elton now? Yeah, we'll show Elton. So we both cast on Elton. Elton pullover by Hohi Hohi Locatelli. Locatelli. You gonna pull it up? Um, so she has an Elton cardigan. Yeah. But here is the Elton. That pullover. came out a couple of years ago. And the moment I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Like I saw the pattern, I saw yes. the mohair, and like I was like, "Yeah, I got it. I gotta have this." Yeah, we both did. So um, we made the plan, and we're like, "We're gonna cast on." So we had to cast on. Essentially, that was the 
beginning of the cast on party, party was why we wanted to do it was we Elton. To do it. Yeah. So I'm using this is uh, McMullen Fibers fiber. Chantilly. It is on their posh sock, which I think has cashmere in it, if I remember correctly. It's pretty. Um, and it is so soft and squishy and beautiful. And then my mohair oh, is no happy. longer in business. Shibui um, Silk Cloud in the color Velvet and Rust. So those are so the, pretty. I'm actually striping these in there. Um, and I'll show that. In, you want to talk about your yarns? And then oh, my yarn sure. is um, from Volenvine. Um, Kristen Lair's... Um, yarn dyeing and I actually bought this as a kit for birds of a feather um, and it's in I am no bird and this is her um, nouveau 100% superwash merino wool and I am no bird and then the mohair is also dyed as I am no bird they're so pretty together Look pretty. At this is her color, ghost lace yeah. base but um it just go. It just shines. It's the it shiniest does. mohair. I really. It's just pretty. Um, so that's. I'm doing. Usually it's me doing the multicolor stuff, but this time Katie's doing the multicolor. Yeah. Stuff. I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, "This is the yarns." Yeah. I want, and we're so. both. I've got a good bit. Yeah, she's a little further ahead of than I am, and um, but we're both on the back. Oh, look at how that looks on camera. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah. And it looks different. Isn't that pretty? I just love how her stripes look. Yeah, so if you got like, <laughs> if I put a back, or back, a dark background, like how it changes. It just does. It's like beautiful. The, the change in it. So if I wear a white undershirt or a black undershirt, I can change everything about it. But yeah. Look at those colors together. I know, isn't it? Oh pretty? my goodness. I'm so excited it's about so this. And there's mine. I love the, the neutrality of what's going yeah. on there too. Like they're just, this tea. There's against naked skin. Oh, I didn't like that. I do too. So, but um, but this this is such a versatile pattern. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Like I I don't think there's anything too complicated in here. Well, once we get the shoulders, you know, to connect it, yeah, we're getting yeah. to the body. Then it's going to be it's really, really going to be easy to yeah, go. But it'll be really good. It's it's literally four rows of stripes. So you four rows of your mohair, four rows of your yeah. Um, yeah I like the shoulder construction. Yeah, it's been the way interesting. It's yeah. going to all come yeah. together so you do a lot of short rows right here in the middle so yeah you build up that, that um, right back. off the bat right. in the bag i don't know and if this the yarn stay like do you feel this like actually feel it i know it's oh, beautiful just... hers is so soft i mean mine's soft but this has got an extra ooh, i might need a button that says don't touch me please when i wear this <laughs> you wear that all the time don't pet, don't pet me don't touch oh. me <laughs> but yeah so we both cast that one on up i worked on it a good bit I worked on it a week last week, just because uh, at the hotel it. this weekend. I worked on it on Sunday evening, afternoon, sometime. Philip was taking a nap. <laughs> Her hotel, guys. Oh my gosh, where did you stay? What's it called? It's at the Haywood Park, and it, it is right in downtown. It's a little boutique hotel. It's got like forty-eight rooms, but they're huge. Thomas. I mean, huge. I can see staying there. I mean, that's the kind of place you'd want to stay if you're going to be there for a month. There was a. a Hallway and a big bedroom old, and a hallway. living roomish place. Like oh, it was gosh. huge. It was really really big. And our windows opened right out on Battery Park. And for those of you who've been to downtown Asheville, and um, but yeah, the Earth Guild, which is a weaving, spinning, and knitting, but mostly winning it, weaving and spinning shop, was right across the street. Our windows looked out on the Earth Guild, and it was just right there. We were just up the street from the. Um, um, gallery gallery right, yeah. the beer garden was right there which by the on way on the same street as we, we were. walked in and it wasn't it's not really a beer garden it's kind of disappointing yeah it's just a, but it's, it's just like a restaurant like it's but it's a good restaurant it good, and they, yeah. yeah and they um, carry a lot of, of different beers and it yeah. changes all the time uh, of course they didn't have anything gluten-free the other night when we ate there but um I had beer wise not beer food yeah wise. beer wise food was good um they um had this drink Ashevillian mama <laughs> or something, actually, it's something like that. Anyway, it was really good. It was a blend of fruit drinks, fruit punch kind of. I mean, I like fruit drinks, so mm -hmm. it was good. The restaurant Issa's that's at the hotel. Oh, oh, it's a French bistro, and that was such good food. And our waiter looked like a young Bradley Cooper. It was hysterical. <laughs> and you told him that, didn't you? No, I don't think I did. 
I did talk about it. I mean, he t- we talked all the time, and he was excited that we were from Greenville, and I knew where he was from. He grew up in Op, Mississippi. Hmm. There, I mean, Op, Alabama. There's not a whole lot of people who know where Op, Alabama is, but I did because there's not a paper mill not too far from there. Paper mill. And we lived in Aunt my when I was like six months to two years. We lived in Andalusia, okay, Alabama, and Op is real close to Andalusia. But I've I've been all over Alabama's covered with paper mills I've in, in sawmills I've been all over everywhere in Alabama. But anyway, I knew where Op was, and he was just freaking out because nobody had ever known on the East Coast had ever known where Op was. That's funny. Oh, it was funny. Goodness. Anyway, he was a very good waiter. So it was we had such a good time. It was really really a relaxing good time That's getaway. Good. And um, we ate at, at a ball. I ate absolute blast. Was it Shangri-La? Is that what I said? Yeah. It was a dumpling house. Delicious. Uh, not when Shangri-La, but it was... Shanghai. Shanghai. I knew it was a... It's sh- a Shang kind of nest. Sh- uh, when was that? By the way, we ate at Hemingway's Cuban restaurant. It's a sky top restaurant and bar. It was good, too. Right across the street from the Grove of Heart Arcade. Ooh. I do love I love Cuban food. I did see a, a, an advertisement for that. It was good. Uh, Shanghai Dumpling House, delicious. Um, and then we, the whole reason we went is Zach wanted to go to Malaprops, which is a bookstore that's there because I love the name of that bookstore. It's such a cute little bookstore. It's got a little coffee shop in there. Was and, Mr. Malaprop in Great Expectations? I don't know. To be honest, that's not one that I read in high school. Okay, he Mr. Malaprop is a character from one of the Charles Dickens novels. I think it's Great Expectations, but he was known for always saying. Using his words wrong. And that's what malapropisms are. They used his na- character name, and now that's actually a literary term, malapropisms. Um, but this bookstore called Malaprops, and it's a fabulous bookstore. I mean, it really is an interesting destination kind of bookstore. Mrs. Malaprop, not Mr. Malaprop. It's from an English play. Okay, it's not from a Dickens. Wow. I thought Richard. it was a Dickens novel. Brinsley Sheridan. Nope. Sorry, guys. It's an English play called The Rivals. Hmm. I could have sworn. I knew it was something English, but I, I could have sworn it was in the Dickens novels. Huh. Okay. Funny. Well, there you go. Proved wrong right there on camera. <laughs> now I wanted to know Whoop, which one it there was we go. for you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Um, Doesn't bother me. It's still the same it's the re- same reason. It's the character yeah. m- mispronounced things. Yeah. And that's why. Not mispronounced, but misused words. And then we ended up at The Chemist. Yes. So it's it's looks very much like the old school, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Alchemist about? shop. Yeah, yeah, alchemist shops and that kind of thing. Old doctor's offices and um, old, old. Um, but they do gin. Like that is their thing is um, they, they produce distill, gin. produce gin. Distill. And we had some good, good gin drinks. So gin is not sweet. So generally you don't get very sweet drinks, but they were good. Tastes like somebody boiled their socks in. <laughs> Remember, mine had it was I like gin. <laughs> tiger's tiger orange flavored gin. Something I'd try like that. that. It was good. It I'd had, try like, that. Elderberry um, syrup in it, I think, or Ooh. something. It really wasn't sweet. There was not a lot in there, but it was good. That sounds good. Um, but yeah, we're, think, we're just babbling. Sorry, sorry, guys. And a place called The Chemist. Of course, we have to go. We have to go to a place called The Chemist. Yeah. Um, Zach's gotten oak barrels from there. He does, yeah. So he's going to... Just Rest some beer and uh, bar- barrels. gin barrels. Gin barrels. So, yeah. Um, is that all your whips? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you kind of got off on the tangent. Not Sorry. at all. Okay. So, we talked about Elton. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to show, when we get to acquisitions, purchases, I'll show you more about where I got this yarn. But I'm doing... Okay, so in the I talked about the Grove Arcade in downtown Asheville. It's a beautiful old building that um, has shops on the outside, on the sidewalk, mm-hmm. and also on the inside, a couple of stories worth. And it's oh, it's all kinds of stuff. There's lots of artsy. It's a huge bookstore that you can take your dogs into. Yes, a coffee they, and wine bar. Coffee and, and wine, a champagne bar. Champagne it's bar, a bookstore it. ca- champagne bar. They had two guys playing guitars on Monday. They were not. I mean Sunday. I was we say they weren't open on Monday, Sunday because we tried. On Sunday when we were in there, and um, I mean, it's just really, really pretty little it's place. Nice. And there's um, Asheville, North Carolina Homecrafts is the name of the store that's in there. 
and it's a yarn store and a hat store where they sell a hand knitted and belted and hats and all kinds of scarves and stuff. It's it, they're selling women's uh, makes and it's women owned mm-hmm. women makes and um and it's it's really a neat place and I'll 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 share more about that in a minute. But um they had a shawl on display that was based on an earth U R T H earth. Uh, earth yarns it's a unique fingering chevron scarf unique spelled like u-n-e-e-k is what um earth u-r-t-h calls their um self-striping their color changing yarns is their uniques and um i contrary to popular belief i did not get the rainbow um (laughs) but okay mine's gonna look more like that one with the, the obvious stripes but they had a shop sample. That's what caught my attention. And um, in this colorway. Oh, pretty. Isn't that pretty? I, love, I, love I just absolutely love together. it. So I started, you know, it, I ended, they didn't have a colorway and a full 100 gram skein of fingering. But they had it in their sock yarn in the their little boxes. Their little boxes. Where they sell the... See, that's what it's going to look like. That's what it looks like striped. But they get they sell it already separated, so you can do two socks at once. And, um, well, I didn't do socks, but I went ahead and got my skeins of yarn that I needed in this colorway. So that's going to be the shawl. And it is, of course, I'm in the middle of a row, but you can see that it's stripes. Now, the pattern's free. Okay, so the pattern's free, and it... I shortened it. It's supposed to be, it said it was going to be 12 inches wide, so I took out 16 stitches and making it approximately 10 inches wide, although it's going to be wider because there's a lot of stretch here. But um, it's just going to be striped, and it's going to have basically two chevrons. It'll have two points because there's two decrease points and then increase points with yarn overs around a two-stitch. There's the center increase point, and then there's this double decrease that's going to be on the points. Like I said, it's a free pattern. It's called the Earth Unique Fingering Chevron Scarf. There we are again. And I'll link it the, to the Ravelry thing at the bottom. But um, it was beautiful. I loved those colors. And because I knew that my depth cal was going to be done and within days, I needed to new something to put in my purse that I could take to meetings and stuff. So that's what that is, my new purse project. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I have one more cast on. I got one more too. Will you do yours? Okay. So this is another one from our cast on party. Uh, the pattern is the what did I say? Maple. Maple cardigan, wasn't it? Something maple cardigan. Maple syrup cardigan. Maple syrup cardigan. By ooh, Ginger Handcrafts. So here is. It's pretty. A cardigan. And I am using oh city tweed. So it's a yeah. knit pick city tweed. In a bunch of different colors. I, I know I showed them all in the episode right after I bought them, but I, I haven't brought yeah. them to show again. But this is like the top color, so I'm doing like the dark. I'm doing all dark, so it's dark black, red, bluish green kind of colors coming down. So it'll have a nice fade to it. But I literally have um, this is all I got done. And so this is not obviously it's a it's a cardigan and it's not a steeped cardigan, so it's not in the round. And it's I was like, flat. you know, I want to do. Twisted ribbing, because that's what I do. So now i got to do pearls through the back loop. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, it just takes me longer to do the back side than the front side. Yeah, it just, because... it just slows you down a little bit. That's beautiful tweed. It is. And it's so it's soft. It's beautiful tweed. Like, guys, nitpicks just, dang, they, they get me. Mm-hmm. They do. They got good yarn. That is pretty. That's my, I did a few rows. i got to do 25 rows of this, and I think I'm about 10 in. Yeah. Um, we went to Highlands Brewing just to sit and chill for a minute before we came home on Monday and there was a dog there that couldn't take her eyes off me her owner was like she just loves that you're knitting and she was just sitting there infatuated <laughs> super cute puppy I don't know what the people look like but the puppy was adorable <laughs> that's where all your attention was was on the dog uh, the, that's I mean, how she does things the dog's attention was on me I had to I there had to reciprocate go. that's right <laughs> share the focus <gasps> okay my next project is I got into the test knit. Pearls and postulates. Um, 
has getting ready to publish a patent. Okay, she's the yarn company we talked about in episode 17. We had found, and she where she celebrates uh, women of STEM, mm -hmm. and she um, <clears throat> talks about. Um, like, I loved her. She has right now. She's got Valentine colors out, guys. They're beautiful. And it's anatomically anatomical heart, and anatomical love, oh anatomical God. something. It's anatomic. They're something. gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my God, they're bright. And it, like it's all about the brain and the heart. Um, I love you. Yeah, I are. love this anatomical Valentine collection. Yeah, that's it. Look, Look at this. Oh, go back. Stop it. There. Look at it. I she sells love them as a set. It. Yeah, or individually, and or you can order them on all kinds of different bases. Uh, it's so pretty. But um, pearls and postulates, show her um, right logo. Okay. Yeah, pearlsandpostulates.com, I think. That's her. Yeah, pearlsandpostulates.com. This should post before. Before the end of the month, if you spend $100 in this collection, you get 50% off of another item in the collection. Right. So I almost called Michelle and said, hey, let's get a couple of sets and save some money, but... Yeah, I, I ha, I've had it in my cart, in and out of my cart. But you're I, the only real for me. Yes, that color, that one, and then the yeah. lightest color. Those are the two colors I loved the most. Oh yeah, this light one's beautiful. I just What's dropped something one? on the floor. Neuron, <laughs> Neuronda something. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the puns, the puns, Great. Jessica, yeah. I love it. Yes, Jessica Talent is who's is the oh. is the designer. Yes. All right, so she posted a call, uh, the test fit call. Uh, yeah, because. Was it Amy, Amy and somebody else? Amy of Three Tulips and then uh, Jill Jarvis. Jill Jarvis, yep. Um, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Um, both tagged me on the post on Instagram or pack, tagged us that the, the, at least one of us needed to do to test knit this sweater. And well, if I had the time, I, I would have signed it, up. But she's, take, she's finishing no her way. master's. There's no way. She, she needs to do her schoolwork. <laughs> but, okay, so there's a picture. See the, er, the Erlenmeyer flask. See why we needed to do this. And there's one on the side of the body too. I mean, she's posted these pictures online, so yeah, I know that yeah, so I can, can look them up I can share these stuff. pictures. It's called Chemical Attraction. Um, so, but if you go to her Pearls and Postulates um, Instagram, Instagram, you'll see pictures of it. It's on her website too, still, um, where she posted the applications for. Well, there's a little bit of a picture where you can see. I printed these off so I can show them, but. I know I'm bending them all crazy, but that's okay. That's just for you. Um, it's just for me. You can see that it, that's on the side of the sweater. Is that that's just part of the you know the flask comes down. It's a whole flask, and there's bubbles up here that are done in duplicate stitch with mohair. I'm so excited. All right, so um, I found out. Yeah, there's a good picture of it. You can and see the side of it. There's the side. Yeah. Look at how cute she's. Isn't that bubbles adorable? And heart. Oh. I'm so in love with this sweater. So I'm buying the pattern. I'm I applied. Buying. And I got in, so I, one of Jessica's test knitters, so excited, um, and I stash dived. Well, I found out while we were in Asheville and um, that I had was on. So we start. I started on Monday when after I got home, and worked on it more yesterday than I did on Monday because traveling. But um, it calls for you need DK. So the bulk of the sweater, the main part of the sweater, is in a DK. So I have this that I have had on the shelf. You have a label. I do. I have labels because I have three of them. So, you know, I, <sighs> even though the labels are, are funky. Okay, Shal Shalimar Yarns, which I don't think is even dyeing yarn anymore. It's called War and Chocolate. Well, look at this color. It's That's called War and Chocolate. And um, I got it on sale at Yarn and Y'all because it the, the label says that it's the Airy, their single fingering weight, and but it's, it's not. It's the DK. Mm. The Sticker from Yarn and Y'all says Breathless DK, which is what it is. It's not their um, airy, but it's DK. Isn't that just the prettiest? So I've been saving these three skeins for a long time. It's a blend. It's merino, 70% merino, 20% mohair, and 10% silk. Feel that. Yeah. Isn't that a great blend? That's so pretty. I mean, so pretty. So good yarn. Yeah, it's it's nice. That'll be a nice shirt. Yeah. And then the contrast color, the lighter part, my little beakers are going to be this color. And if you can tell, it sparkles. Okay. It has sparkles. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's one of their hand dyed yarn bee thingies. Um, and then mohair. And the mohair is Legacy Fiber Arts. Vanilla bean, I think is what they call it. 
I had the label here somewhere. Does her original go with mohair, or did you want to add mohair? Oh, it has mohair. Okay. Yeah, it's a mohair plus a sport. Well, this is a heavy fingering, so it works. I got gauge. I did a gauge swatch. I, people, I never do gauge swatches. I did a gauge swatch. I got gauge on the needles, called for, and um, with both with these two together and with the DK. So here's so, a tip: she did it on the needles. She didn't bind off her gauge swatch. She just wrapped, undid the gauge swatch, and she was done. Yeah, so I ripped not, it out. You're not wasting any yarn. Yeah, I, I I got my gauge. I knew I had it, so I did pull it out, yeah. and I'm just knitting with it. Um, I did not wash and block my gauge swatch. Yeah, I just you, didn't. I mean, if you know that you're going to make gauge that way, then you know yeah, you can I'm, I'm block fine. aggressively or not if you want. Yeah, I think That's I'm all fine. preference. All right, so all I've done so far is a little bit of ribbing. So it starts at the neck. It's a top down. And um, I've just got the ribbing. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Look so, at that color. Isn't it, isn't it pretty together, those yarns? I think that's really pretty together. And it looks really good when you... I should have saved swatch just so I could show y'all. It looks really mm. good next to it. It does. It looks really good. So we'll see it all together. Yeah. So I got to get this done. So that's my that's going to be my main evening knit in in weekend knitting, and of course it's in a uh, button jar studios. Hey Julie. <laughs> Hello Julie. Um, fat bottom girl bag. That's the size of the fat bottom girl. Um, I love this pattern. I love this fabric. Okay. So there we go. That's my last cast on. So I'm all. That's all my cast on. I bet you. I'm so excited she got in. Like I'm so. Excited. I did. I'm so excited. Um, I actually haven't ever done a test knit. I've I've knit samples. Really. I used to knit samples for Coates and Clark all the time. Um, matter of fact, a sweater I crocheted for them was on the cover of one of the crochet magazines where they published the pattern for free, and um, hmm. my sweater was on the cover. Not my pattern, obviously, but, but the one, the one I actually crocheted was on the cover. Oh, fine. And I, I did a, um, samples, a couple of sample knits for um, oh, brain. Lorna? She's yeah, Lorna. Thank you. I remember. Yeah, we, back when Lorna Miser was Lorna's Lorna. laces before she sold them, and now she's zombie yarns. Yarns. Now she's zombie yarns. Because Lorna dies again. Lorna dies again. That's right. Zombies. Raised from the Dead, R, 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 R. Love it. But, um, yeah, I knit, oh, my God, a mohair lace shawl. Oh, mm -hmm. single strand of mohair lace shawl. I thought it was going to go nuts. That's been a long, long time that ago. Would've, that would have drove me insane. Yeah, it was beautiful purple. Still. I think she called that yarn heaven, and it was. It was beautiful. But it was hell to knit that thing. Oh, yeah. And I had little, I was still, I was a stay-at-home mom. Ooh. You had littles running on you. I, well, I, you know, James was... Was James even born? James may not have been born yet. That's how long ago that was. I'm sorry, Lauren, I just added this. <laughs> That's how old we are. But um, I'm excited about doing chemical attraction. Yes, I am. There we go. All right, now we got our purchases. Purchases. I got one. No, no, no. Was it one? Yes, one. I got one thing. Yeah. My Pearls and Postulates is here, so we can talk about that next yeah, time. Yeah, but she, she has, has one sitting on her porch. Our stitch markers are on their way. I don't know if you Yes, know Hello today. Lavender stitch markers. I can't wait to look at them. Guys, I can't wait to show y'all. They're so nice. I oh, know. They're so pretty. Oh, we're um, so excited. Yes. It'll be fun to see. Oh, what I have an adornment. <laughs> I ordered from Steph again. Hey, Steph. And um, She yeah. got a new website. Yes, go check yes. it out. Oh, yes. She's we want to be sure to mention that. Huge sale on there. I think yes. she's like... Go check out the sales. There was a ton. That yeah, because she and she's getting stuff posted. She didn't have all five hundred something things she had on Etsy yet, but she's about to get it all on the website. And so go um, check it out. but it's adore Steph. I mean adore knit dot com, right? You want me to look at? I had it pulled up. I, I, th let's I think you're check. right, but we better check and make sure. Just yeah, let's double check. Um, well, here I tell you what. I'll just go and type it in. She has some of the best stitch. Oh, markers. we love her stitch markers. Super nerdy. Yep, doorknit.com. There you go. Yep, there we go. And again, the sales. You can see the at the top, doorknit.com, and that's what her her homepage looks like. I just she oh, she runs sales all the time, but she's got the cutest stuff. She has started making bags. I showed one of her bags a few episodes back. Look at that fabric. I love that it was fabric. Last episode. Was it last episode? Yep, I had 17. that little basket bag. Yep. Okay. Well, I order from her all the Check time. Check it out. There were 17. Yep. It's a cute little. It is number 17. It and stands up on its she's own. She's nerdy like we are. She likes, you know, the 
favorite. Goofy movies, the Star Star Wars movies. She did. She's the one who did the Yellowstone markers. I have so many of. I have them all. Actually, I bought all of her her, her markers. But um, her website's great. It works real well. I ordered my the order that's coming. I ordered from the website, and everything's worked great. So she got clubs too. So she's just clubs. Yeah, like, she's marker the, clubs. Um, and they come with. You can get like a really big type of package where it comes with a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, she's got one the, for um, Golden Girls. Thank Golden you for Girls. being a friend. And then she's got um, just a marker of the month club where it's just different. She has the coffee, mm-hmm. and coffee then marker club, and Stranger then Things. a Stranger Things club. She's those are the four she's got going right now. Um, and she always does sci-fi stuff. So, I ordered I ordered some Star Wars stuff. Star Wars, more Star Wars stuff. I got a bounty hunter, um, Bob Fett, the bounty hunter, and um, what was the other one I got? I don't remember. <laughs> But it's something about Star Wars. She does because she's got um, uh, obscure kind of stuff too, like the labyrinth and Firefly yeah. and kind of the those kind of things. Some that, things you might not think about, like people making stitch markers for. She does. She does almost yeah. everything. It seems like so. If there is a stitch marker fan uh, fan club thing that you're looking some for, some kind of fandom, yeah, go, go check it out. If she, she doesn't already she have it, she has might. It. She might be able to make it for you. Speaking of fandom, I talked. We talked about this on on. I don't remember what episode. Pew Loco. God Nicole? bless Nicole. <laughs> and her color sense. It's got to stop. <laughs> she kills us every single time. I uh, This is this was a pre-order. Mm-hmm. It's been a the couple months. The beginning of January, I think. Was it January or was it before Christmas? I thought it was January. It was probably January, beginning of January. Okay, I know. There's. I just try not to make it rattle because Rachel My doesn't like the rattle. She goes, take it out or don't make it rattle. There you go. So, um, that's perfect. Yeah, There's no glare at all. Yeah. This is the... Cozy Colorado series that she did, and it is so pretty. We, we were talking about this is Katie's end, and this is my end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We oh, they're beautiful, they're so pretty. Oh. So, so, she does all kinds of minis. So, she actually has uh, 50 gram minis too. So, you could get, yeah, you could have scans of everything. That's what I did in the Wizard of Oz, the mm-hmm. Over the Rainbow and series. My L- Lily of the Valley May mm-hmm. from last you year. You did 50s, 50s in that yeah, too. Still we still haven't figured out what to do with them, but no, we're, but we're working on it. So. And then I also got these three skeins of Earl Grey. That's what that color. It's one of her standard tonals that she does because I thought that it would. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that would work. So. Sweater. This is going to be a striped sweater. Just don't know what yet. Which one? Don't know. I'll think of it later. I'll make up something later. Um, okay, then I went to, this is the Asheville, North Carolina Home Crafts um, store. There's their, their logo. logo. Um, you can see their website up there at the top. And their Instagram address actually is North is NC Home Crafts on Instagram. It's NC Home Crafts because mm-hmm. um, we I talked to her about it and told her we were going to um, talk about them on the podcast. And she followed us. And she started following us right then. But I'm going to pull up that page because, okay, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Why am I this incompetent when it comes to it? There they are. Okay. All right, here we go. NC Home Crafts. You can see it's the Asheville, North Carolina Home Crafts store. That's their... Um, Insta. Insta. And, and I showed you their website address already. Both of those are... Oh, they had this display of... Oh, my gosh. It's adorable. Felted bunny rabbits with carrots. For Easter. Oh, for Easter. So oh, they had a bunch of gnomes, too. A whole display of gnomes that had been oh. hand-felted. And they were selling them. They had hats and all kinds of stuff. So here's a picture of one of the felted hats they had for sale. I forgot today. It was Ash Wednesday. Today is? Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot that. You're right. Mardi Gras. Oops. It's just over. But um, yeah. they have tons of different kinds of hats for sale and stuff in their hat shop. But then they have a yarn shop. Okay, and of course, that's where I was. All right, I already told you about the unique. unique fingering and the thing I got. That was one thing. Um, oh, I got this. Ooh, I like that one. It's like a keychain, and it's a ruler. Oh, and it's a full 12-inch ruler. That's a nice one. 13-inch, oh. I guess. No, Is it's it- 12 does it come apart? No. Okay. No, wait. It does. It does. You didn't even know that. I didn't know that. I've got one on my keys, too. It snaps. I forgot all about this. But, um, and I have no idea who it's from. Somebody, somewhere local. Yeah. 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 
One does the same thing. This is yeah. the I Love Handles version, but yeah, I, I like that. So it's great. Yeah. I thought I could put it on um, bag handles. I was about to say you put it on a bag handle put it on and carry it around. Handles, yeah, carry it around. I love but I, that. I fell in love. I saw that first thing when I walked in the door. They had a bunch in a bowl, so I grabbed one of those. I like that. Um, all right, then. Can't have too many rules. One of the women working there dies young. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Look at those colors. Ooh. See it? What is that on? Because it, it's. Wool nylon. Wool well, nylon, okay. Yeah, it's um, 82, no, it's a 7525. Okay. Yeah, and the label is a, a needle um, chart. So you can, it, you know, it's an inventory, oh, like a needle inventory you chart. It your, and it's got a ruler on the top of it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it had a little ruler across the top. Huh. So And she gave me, there's some um, not punched ones, but no business stickers. Cards. Like a business card on yeah, the inside. That so is so smart. See, having business cards that are like that are um, useful. Useful, yeah. yeah. That's a brilliant idea. All right, so I got this. Here's a brochure of for their company. Mm -hmm. But I had this idea. I'm gonna hold it double. I'm gonna hold this double along with this. Ooh, that'll look pretty. See, it's the same colors, y'all. I don't know if it's coming up. On the, the camera, is. the sparkles, the, the sequins yeah. are the same colors in the yarn. Is that not pretty? And this, my oh, hair. Oh my gosh, that'll be pretty. I'm going to hold it together. I'm going to double this so it's like DK weight because it's a real, it's a fairly thin, fingering. lightweight fingering. My glasses keep sliding down. So I'm going to double this so it's like a DK and hold it with the sparkle and the mohair and make a cowl. Well, that'd be pretty. So it'll be up that'd here be like this. I just so that's that's gonna go in the nails pretty soon because I got ideas. So I'm gonna make something happen with that. Mm -hmm. That's my only. Well, I, the, the the Hue Loco doesn't count because I ordered that last month, so that doesn't count against my February gift. That does, but the, it was my husband's idea, y'all. He's in the other room. He offered. He even offered to go to Black Mountain. Just so I could go to the orange shop. He loves you. He does. And, they, and I found this shop and he said, okay, let's go. Now, he he, he didn't go in with me. He went and got coffee. But still. <laughs> he did come in for a little bit. But it was his idea. Aww. It was his idea. Party. It's because it's our anniversary. So. <laughs> it's he, Once a year. <laughs> he has to prove he loves her. Once a year. Okay. All right. I have one. You sh yeah, you one show course. that and then I'll show those two because oh, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, the same thing yeah it's bag time people bag time we're acting like grocery girls we instead of sock jock we're talking about no. bag time bag oh, we have a song bag binge bag, bag binge, binge. Oh, I like it. <laughs> let's do the bag binge we're gonna do the bag binge part. all right because you know um, me i if you've watched us at all you know i have a bag problem um oh i forgot about those other things you can yeah, talk about we you got amazon purchase we I have amazon. Amazon. yeah my next everything else is amazon <sighs> michelle Oh, yes. Michelle, I love not, you, not sweetie. This not Michelle. this Michelle. Michelle. Not, I mean, she loves me, but she's not talking to I, me right now. I love you. I love you, Michelle. But gosh darn it. Some, somebody it, should have bought this. Wool needle thread, Michelle. Wool needle thread, Michelle. She makes wool. bags. Um, let's pull her up. Yeah, let's pull her up. She's got her own website that we're going to start promoting because she asked us to send to the website. So go to the website, sign up for her email because she'll send you a bag of the month. And it's like discounted. And it's like. Oh, I get her emails all the time. Uh, okay, that's her Instagram. There's her Etsy shop. That's Facebook. There, there. Is that it? No. No, that's so. no, that's somebody else. That's somebody else. That's wool needle thread too. I don't know who that is. This is her her image. Yeah, the WNT. That's her, the WNT. Michelle Packer is her name. I thought okay, maybe she is still just on it. No, I know no, she's no. got a. I, I know she is. On her I know she has a website. All right, I'm gonna go through Insta. I mean, she also has an Etsy shop, guys. So she says she also has an Etsy shop, but she's got a, a website um, where she puts some of her. If you get her newsletter, or sign up for her newsletter, she'll send you ahead of time, um, and she always has a bag on her website only that she doesn't put in the Etsy shop. But the stuff she and she's been working with Cork a lot lately. Yeah, it's and, just woolneedlethread.com. I don't know why it's coming not coming up for you. All right, there it is. I don't know why. There, you can barely, you can't really see the website, but there's her 
or the address up there, but there is her her website. So she's got some bags on there right now. She's doing cork, a lot of cork bags. Oh, that can, orange cork thing she had the other day. Oh, that's beautiful. You can subscribe and get 10% off your first purchase from her Etsy shop. So she's still got that going as well. She's got these backpacks. Oh, I want a backpack. Now, now it came open. Now it came. Okay, yeah. finally. Um, but there was this bag, and it has been on there since December. It was before December. Because I went back. I found the first image, and it was way back. Maybe it was November. I don't know. But I said, all right, I'm going to give it a, two weeks. And I gave it two weeks, and it was still there, so I bought it. <laughs> she did wait two weeks. I did. We had I, it was in my down shopping down. cart. I, I waited. I, I just had to have it. So this I is think one I of her little crossbody bags. Look at Isn't how that beautiful the most gorgeous it is. Thing? Look at that fabric. That's the one I wanted, but I missed it. Oh, that's perfect for you. I know. Um, so it's got leather. Um, strap. It's adjustable. It's great for a little crossbody bag. I've been carrying my um, Elton in here right now just because it's it's small at the moment, so it's good, good size for that. Uh, it's got a outside zipper pocket with this nice gray fabric on the inside. It's so well done, y'all. And look at the card pocket on the inside, like oh, it's little card. It pockets. is so stinking Ugh. gorgeous. It's actually really, really. It's a good deep bag, but I am in love. It's so pretty. Oh, the inside, the purple. Um, yeah, thanks, Michelle. You got me. That's the one I wanted. And as soon as I saw it on Instagram, I flew over, or in our, my email, I don't remember which one it was. Look at that fabric. Oh, my that's so God, cool. that's so me. Yeah, I missed it. it. It was gone. I'm getting one of these eventually. I just haven't found the one that I want to buy because they are on the higher end. But these are her wax canvas totes. And I know Michelle likes them, too. I do. But they are. They're gorgeous. Like, look at these oh, Me, Michelle. <laughs> well, me, I'm Michelle sure, I'm sure she does, too. Them. This is the one I liked, and it sold out. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it was so pretty. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Look at that. Look at how pretty. Oh, her bags are beautiful. They really are. I bet you this one were really, really nice, too. Mm-hmm. So, but I love, I, I have, this is the second one I've bought. I don't know yeah. if you've bought any I haven't bought any. I, I keep missing <gasps> the ones I want. I'm up on Michelle and bags. Yeah, she's up. Bag she's binge. She's two up on me. Bag binge. So, All right. Bag binge. Love it. Okay, first off, I'm going to show these. Yeah. All right. Cast on party. If you watched our cast on party and me struggling to, to to change needle tips, I kept having to hand it to Katie to do for me. And she had this little heart-shaped rubber gripper thing that From came Chow. with chow goo. Chow goo, yep. Well, I, I wasn't going to. I didn't need needles, so I'm not going to order chow goo Wait. needles just to get the little... I I think it comes when they're little like the kit to things. go kit. The so it's a little white things. one. I think you can buy them separately on on their website, but I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I know I have two. I'm not sure how. Well, I went on Amazon and I looked up for rubber gripper jar opener things, which, which is the same amazing, material, by the way. Same material, and um, I ordered a set. You see the colors? They look just like, like four me. Or something? Yeah, there's four. Four. Square yes, there's four. There's four in there. Two squares. Two, two squares and two circles, and so. There's a blue and a green. They had other, another color set, but of course I like cool colors. So and the gray, and then they had a purple. Well, the purple square I cut into circles. I just hand cut circles. I have a punch somewhere, but I don't know where it is. In smaller circles, so I could put these in my notions thingies so to true. have everywhere I keep a needle, needle tool. I, I put these in there too. So for unscrewing and rescrewing in and all that kind of stuff. So I have little grippers now. Thing is, I thought I ordered one set. I really thought I was just getting one set. I got three. So Katie has. So Katie has a set, and then I'm gonna put a set in the kitchen. But yeah, so it was I it was under ten dollars. Let's see. And I got all of these. So I'll put it in the links below, but yeah. I would still need my tool, but yeah. You just Yeah, but for loosening. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I these will help old, old arthritic hands here. Oh yeah. So that's why I got them. Well, but, and if you've got needles so, that are a little tough to get on, they yeah. can help. Just, so we'll link these. Yeah. Because you them. Every, you know, in case you want some, you could get any. Like I said, you can get a whole bunch. Share, <laughs> order them, order your for your knitting friends. You could get a little like them. fun punch and do like hearts and yeah. Different, like well, I've got paper punches. I have. Well, I used to have. Then I got. I went through the get rid of all the scrapbook and stuff. And I have no idea if I kept those punches or not. If I did, they're in this bin in the top of the closet inside Shell World, which I can't get to right now because I threw all that crap in front of Shell World, door, my closet door in Shell World, and it's it's up to here from the floor it's up to. Pretty, pretty I'm not very tall, but that's still pretty tall. That's pretty <laughs> that's high pretty, for pretty a high. bunch of bags. 
<laughs> yeah, Philip walked, my husband walked in and goes, that's a lot of bags. I'm like, yeah, and? <laughs> She it goes with all my hair. I use every single one of them. Every last one. I really do. And we're going to talk about all the places I have bag stash. All right, speaking of bags. All right, I have, and I've shown it before, my little leather dot kit men's toiletry bag that I got at Marshall's that I use with my for my notions. That's my main, my main notions. Well, I also have to have my needles in another bag because they won't fit in that bag, so I have two bags. Well, I, tried to, I, I was trying to come up with ideas for ways to get it all together in one. And so I constantly cruise men's toiletry kit bags on Amazon because that makes sense to me. So I found this one. It's by Rustic Town. We'll put a link in the show notes. And one of the things I like about the one I've, I've been using is that I don't like the double zipper across the top and the, the thing that doesn't flop open it. I don't like that part of it. But I do like the fact that it's got... These, it's got two zipper pockets on the outsides of it. Well, this one only has it on one side, but it's, it's, it's a good deep one. It's got room for all kinds of stuff. So I have the outside zipper pocket. It's got the gate mouth opening, like Katie and I were talking about last time, how much we love that gate mouth, because it opens up and stands open. I mean, it's there. It's not, yeah, it's not gonna close. Yeah, it's got three, these three little dividers in here that are open on the bottom too, because they're for putting toiletry bottles in, you know, like shampoo bottles and stuff like that. But, um, I can, I can still tuck things in them or not. They fold up flat so I can get them out of the way. But it's fairly deep. I mean, it goes all the way. I mean, it's fairly deep. You can see how far my hand goes in there. And then the real... Okay, it has feet on the bottom, which I absolutely adore. I love that. I like the look and the fact that it works. But this is the real selling point. Is It's got a um, hidey hole on the bottom. Compartment on the bottom. It just opens up. It, I mean, it's no pockets at all. It's just open. And my needles... My interchangeable needle things, uh, rolls or case, case, whatever you call them, fit in here, and it zips closed. So I can carry my needles with me and my my notions. And for that matter, I could use it for a knitting bag. It would hold a shawl, um, at least up through almost to the finishing. I could have a pair of socks in it, um, anything like that. It would be I could use it for that if I wanted to, but I want it for notions. I need to be able to dig in there and put my tins all lined up in the bottom and. So I'm gonna load that sucker up this week. That's it just came, so that's my thing. Okay, one last thing. Y'all already saw this. This is her fault. I'm blaming her. You can blame me. I'm okay. This with is that. all her fault. It's a good bag. The oh, and by the way, <laughs> you guys, thanks for using our link when you buy. Yeah, we uh, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we. It, it it helps offset our shipping cost <laughs> for when we send things out. I ordered the same backpack as Katie's. But I got it in the quilted black with Look brown straps. Now, it's not black on the inside. It looks just like just Katie's the on the inside. Yep. Same gray, same pockets. Everything's the same, except it's the black. And that's the back of it. So if you want to see a real detailed view. Yeah, look at episode, episode 17. 17. Katie goes through every single pocket for you and how everything fits together. But So I just ordered the black quilted one, and I love this thing. It's, so I, I took mine, you thing. took yours this past I took weekend. mine this past week, and this was my knitting car. bag. Yeah. I slipped the hand, I slipped its strap over the top of my pool sur suitcase. I look so fancy, because it matches the other one, <laughs> and I, I just look like I was all coordinated. <laughs> yeah, so, but I, like I had mine in the floorboard of the car, and I was knitting oh, out yeah. of it. Like it's, yeah, it's it sits so down right beside good. you, and gate mouth, yep. okay, gate mouth. Um, it worked like a charm. It's great. I had five projects in it. Uh, yeah. Yep. I had five projects in it, and um, everything in there. Yeah, I always have. I had my iPad. I had my three projects I was working on, and my Notions bag, which is kind of it's it's a big large. Thing. Yeah, mm. I have one of those and the brown pebbly stuff that I like so much. I can't remember its name from Portland Leather. Portland Leather is doing canvas, canvas bags. Canvas. They've got three styles right uh. now: two different dop kits, men's toiletry bags, and a tote. Um, and they're a leather canvas combo. And, yeah, they're pretty. All right, so I just want to say, I am not as bad as my sister. Sister's worse about Portland leather. Yes, sister's she's, worse. She's telling her fiancé that she's buying mystery boxes to sell off the ones she doesn't like. Uh-huh. There's never one you don't like. No, there's no such thing as a Portland leather. Now, so, unless I got a black, because I don't ooh. like black 
bags. So crossbody. Yeah. So there's a canvas crossbody. They've got it in four colors. Yeah. And then I oh. like the gray. That's the big dop kit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That would make a nice notions oh, bag. God. Oh no, this is the deluxe. That's the drip drop canvas dop kit. This is the deluxe, deluxe drop kit. kit. Yeah. Dop kit. Yeah. There, it's got the it's got a pocket on the outside yeah. for sliding stuff in. Oh yeah, I, I looked these yeah. things up and down and around and so all kinds of stuff. The other three day. canvas containers or bags, and of course all their other bags. Like I love me some Portland leather. Oh yeah, we were. And it really is. So the the fans. price is the price point is amazing. So yeah. like I've got a one of their oversized totes. I think I paid eighty eight dollars for it. Yeah. Well, before shipping and taxes, but I mean. This is in their storm gray color you can't get a lot of. Oh, yeah, that thing is gorgeous. It's huge. It really is. And it holds everything, and yeah. it's very substantial. I um, love that gray and brown combo. But literally, I think it was $88 total. Like this. I really like that. It might have been more than that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all I paid for it. Yeah. Um, Did I not press purchase? I didn't. <gasps> Uh-oh. I meant to before her sale went off. Uh-oh. The sale stopped? Is this something? No, it's still on. Um, this is something I wanted to, to, to show you guys. Um, if you don't fo follow Laura Nelkin on Instagram, do that. Um, let's see. Go back so I can show you what her... Well, this is her website. Laura Nelkin Knit Designs, and she's Laura Nelkin on uh, Instagram as well. Now, I'll be honest, I've been knitting her designs for years. She is a phenomenal designer with beads. Oh, my stars. She knits, oh, let me just, let's find something that, and she goes on these trips, and she takes knitting trips, and all kinds of stuff. These are her clubs. Let me see if I can find a pair. Okay, bear with me. I, I, I'm doing this off the top of my head. No, I don't want clubs. I want patterns. My fingers are too big. Okay, so like, look at, look oh, yeah. at this lace shawl. That's pretty. There's beads in it. You can't really see in that picture, but I mean, she does sweaters and um, she's knits with light strands, hmm. stars That's and smart. bells and Cute. all that kind of stuff. Um, but she does the most gorgeous lace. She's mm -hmm. if you are at all fond of lace patterns. Oh, she Check does gorgeous stuff. But what I'm currently gaga over is her jewelry. Sounds about right. Yeah, so like, you know, beaded bracelets and beaded necklaces and kits to do those. She has an Etsy shop where she sells the kits. And, um, okay, fetish. That's, that's one of the ones I want to do. And she also shows wearing the, where that as a necklace. And, um. Yeah, I, I so I need to go ahead and purchase that because I meant to, and I apparently just didn't hit buy. But oh, I didn't. That one's cute too. That is cute. That one wasn't on Etsy, I don't think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Pass the peyote. It's called Pass the Peyote. Oh, Look, yeah. isn't that cute? I love those colors. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Should I now do kids? I, because that one looks pretty simple enough. It does. I'll have to check that out some more. But anyway, that was something I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, was that. All right. We're going to talk about a local girl. Yes. Let's do that. I don't. Have either of us bought. I haven't bought yarn from her. Have you officially bought anything from her? Mm-mm. No. No. I, I keep missing the colors I want. Mm -hmm. So she usually does all her shop updates Fridays at 7, and she's got one coming, and I don't want to tell you about it. Boy, wait, this won't post until <laughs> after, so I don't care. <laughs> so this is Wendy Wendy's Wonders. Yeah. Oh, there's her, her Instagram name. She is actually local, like, to, us. local to us. Like, her kid goes to I taught I taught her yeah. son. So <laughs> That's how I met her to begin with and started following her, was I taught her son, and I met her that way. Her color sense. So she does no, sock no. blanks on. That's not coming through good. That looks awfully not. orange. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Maybe the, oh that one doesn't look bad, but she literally does these beautiful gradients. Absolutely beautiful, and she dyes them. She she knits. She has tubes. She knits her yarn up in tubes, and then yeah. dyes the tube, oh. and that's what she's showing there. And then she winds it up into the skeins. She knits it into these beautiful She knits the most beautiful lace, lace shawls. Talking about lace shawls. Oh, 
just gorgeous. It's beautiful. She is the queen of gradient. I mean, she really does a phenomenal job. Yeah, and she has all kinds of different bases. Oh, look at that one. That's not lace, but look at how pretty that looks. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. But she has a new base. I'm going to show you this. Oh, the camel. This is a 50-50 silk camel blend. This is, I'm hoping that something comes up Friday and I can get one. I know. We both want one. I want that exact Wendy, one. We just want this one. We both yeah, just we want both want one. one. I, want, I want one that's 800 yards. <laughs> I don't know if she can, but I, I, I her yarn is beautiful. beautiful. So go check just her gorgeous. out for us. Buy so a few of her pretty. Things. Yeah, check her out. Follow her on Instagram, and um, she has beautiful stuff. I mean, be- and she's a she's a neat woman. She's got a huge following. Yeah, she's a neat neat woman. She has um. Right, almost at twelve thousand followers on Instagram. So a bunch of you may be following her already. She's yeah. a good South Carolina local. Here's that one all like yeah. bottled up. That's so pretty. It's I'm just loving that. It's called Just Breathe. Yeah. That's what I have to do right before I try to buy it. Oh yeah. Um, another fade. Which she's this is not the official gradient. Like it's not a gradient yarn, but this is yarn to you. And it's her fade oh, for saw February. That <gasps> that is so gorgeous. She's that doing green one every year, every month, every this month year. this year. And I should have bought the the club. I know and I, I should have too. Think about it. I I missed the date for it. I don't know how I missed it, but I should have bought the club. It's, it's a, it is so pretty. It's so that was that's February that's coming out. I think this weekend. Here is I think I showed January, didn't I? I don't remember. I have a good picture. Where's the pie? Yeah. Give me the pie. What's this one? Mm-hmm. Oh, did you see the four fade sets she put out yesterday? Yeah, I did. Look, people. Look at those fade sets. Aren't they the most gorgeous thing? So stinking pretty. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. There's January's. She'll have some minis of January's available in her next shop update, but um, not many. Yeah. I might just buy a couple of the minis. But yeah, here's her. There's the February with Ugh. the knitted swatch in the middle. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so yeah. pretty. She's got the do you show the four fades? Yeah. That that that's there the shot I think. Five right. fades of four colors. That's why she calls them four this fades. This fade is That's the January one. Yeah, that's the January. She knit a sweater out of it. Oh, that's the one she did the striped sweater. Yeah. Oh, and this is someone who used the same set and made a shawl. She's a solid. I think that's that one purple. of Stephen West's new ones. They are synchronous. It's um. There's her two stripes. Oh, what's that called? Uh, synchronicities. Fragmentation. Oh. It's the fragmentation shawl that that Stephen's just come out with, and that's the magical fountain fade. Oh, that's beautiful. It's the name. Oh, here's a better picture. There. It's just so pretty. Isn't that so, pretty? Oh, this is gorgeous. Her fades. Yeah, are. yarn to you on um. Instagram, and then you can follow her links from that. We'll and we'll link below. She's on Etsy. Yeah, she's on Etsy. She we'll, has we'll link one below. item in her shop, and I look every day to see if there's anything <laughs> new. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, every day. She's not kidding. Not kidding. Like I, I really just want some yarn from her, and I should have bought it, but I, I, it, her last update was in the middle of the school day. Yeah, and it wasn't during planning. And we have trouble, you know, saying kids, hang on for a second while I, I buy some yarn. yarn. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't go okay. over well. Um. Callie Monster, Monster Knits, came out with a new pattern. Ooh. It's called Pop Rocks. Cute. All right, so here it is on Ravelry. It's called Pop Rocks. And let me blow it up so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, that's adorable. The neon colors are mohair. So it's two colors of mohair. Adorable. Isn't it cute? I'm just, oh, it's just, I want to do it so bad. So, yep, it's in my library already. I already bought it. Look at that colorway up done with those colors oh that's pretty yeah. look at this one oh, it's just i don't know it's just something about it i even like the neon part of it so and here it is when it has the dark background so it works speckles darks lights as the background all good so pop rocks by cali monster love it so yeah i'm that's on hold that's that's going to be soon i mean if I, once i get through some of the 15 things that are on the needles and the, the cash on parties and the others on Beckman Marie Casson. Um, so Vanessa Smith, we talked about her a couple times. Um, she designed Far Point shawl that is one of my UFOs that I'm still working on my whips. Um, 
I'm doing it the Lieutenant LaHura card because it's a Star Trek reference, mm-hmm. but that's that's the Vanessa Smith. And it also showed her Nydia pullover yes. that I want to do. It's on my list. So right now she's she's just created the Nydia, Nadia. N-Y-D-I-A, however you say Nydia. that. N-Y-D-I-A. Yeah, her Nitty card. So she's got the cardigan. She's got the pullover. Look at how beautiful. It's so pretty. Now, I'm, there was a coupon code for her subscribers, so I don't know if that's something that everybody gets, but if you want to look and see if you can find it. But the detail, essentially you get 20% off of both the cardigan and the pullover, so of course I bought both. I mean, why not, right? I already have the pullover. I need to buy the... You don't like cardigans. I don't really. I really don't. I don't wear a, a short cardigan. I only wear long cardigans. That's the pullover. But you can make the cardigan longer. Like I know. You could add length. Yeah, but I don't know if I wanted the stitch pattern for that long. That's the pullover. I'm I'm dope. Totally doing that one. I I mean, as soon as I decide what yarn, <laughs> I got a lot of colors. You guys can see that. I love that. Oh, and the the raglans. It's the beautiful. detail on the on the raglan oh is so pretty. It's beautiful, Vanessa. And Vanessa, right? Okay, I haven't read that pattern even though I bought it. Um, her far point pattern is wonderfully written. I mean, it's very. Wonderful. I mean, I love the way she writes patterns. Oh, I didn't even notice this. You said that about the raglan. It's gorgeous. That's what talked to me. I mean, that's what caught my attention the very first time when I saw that. Well, first I found far point, and then oh, I was I looking through. See it. See that. See the angle. It's just. I just love that. It's pretty. It's just yeah. I'm a, I'm a sucker for raglans with details on the increase decrease. Yeah, oh. that's a great picture of it right there. Right there. There you can see that detail in it. Oh, I just love that. Pretty. So that's it's a DK. So quick knit for the most part. Oh, do I have anything else? I don't know that I do. Sorry, I got an update on the Alex Murdoch. Murdoch. I was watching it today. Yeah, yeah. They had crime scene specialist at, or testifying today. I had to watch it. <laughs> I had to see it. That's our local murder case. Yeah. Well, I don't know how local it is anymore. Everybody's watching it, yeah. but um, it, it is. is here in our state and. The trial is going on in um, Columbia. Columbia, South Carolina. South Carolina. I, I told Zach, I said, if you're going to murder somebody, don't do it when you got on OnStar in your car, because that's how they're going to get him. Well, I, I keep telling the kids, <laughs> okay, in my How to Get Away with Murder class. Um, <laughs> forensics, for my those forensics of you who don't class, know. Yeah, my forensics class that I teach, which, by the way, I have, I have totally scared the crap out of the entire district maintenance electricians. They've been week, there for a while. Two, last two weeks. Um, I have a crime scene set up in the electrical room across on our hall across from my classroom. And I emptied all the storage stuff out of it and set up a dead... I mean, I have... It's, it's, it's good, guys. It's really good. I should take pictures. Um, and it was really good before when it's just the mannequin. But now, then one of the kids brought me a wig. And I have a <gasps> wig on her. They don't. I, yes, and you and when you glance at it, you really think it's a body at this point. Because I... I mean, poor man. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> The first ones, that, we've been having electrical problems at the school, so they've been coming through and working on stuff, and they've installed a new, installed a new system. But um, the first ones that came through, it was two of them together, and I was in a meeting, but luckily John walked out, one of the other science teachers walked out and saw them. They were standing there staring at the crime tape across the door because they needed to go in, but it's, you know, it says, do not enter. Do not enter. Oh, my Big crime God. Scene and um, one of them had pulled his phone out, and they were getting ready to call the district office to find out what was going on at Powdersville High School <laughs> and why they couldn't go into the electrical room. Why is there crime tape in the high but school? But she caught him. I mean, he caught them and explained to him and then told, you know, moved the tape and told him to go on in and that if he needed to move anything, he would. And they just laughed at this point. So they've remembered to tell some of the others, but not all of them. You can tell who they like and who they don't because the ones they don't like don't know anything about it. And they open that door, you're ah! There's men screaming in the hall. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I managed to catch a couple of them and warned them before they went in, but that one guy just let out a big old bellow in the middle of the hall. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh and then when our assistant principal Jessica forgot that it was in there, and so yesterday morning the lights in the commons weren't coming on, so she was going to go in the electrical room and and flip the breaker. And she opened the door and went, ah! And I just walked in the door from the from the parking lot and was talking to somebody. She heard my voice and went, Michelle! I went, what? You knew I was in there. I showed it to her. But, yeah, so 
I've got the whole district in everywhere about dead bodies all over the place. We interviewed a new science teacher potentially today. Did you show her your dead <laughs> I body? I didn't. I just told her what was in there because of the crime scene tape, but I didn't. There's not really a crime here, guys. It's not really a crime. It's just Miss Kessler again doing her thing. But um, it makes life fun. It does make life fun. But I keep telling the kids it's part of class. With cell phones now, if you have a cell phone in your pocket, we will find you. You don't even have to have an act- active call on it. They can subpoena your cell phone records and they can track you by where, exactly where you were. And if you've got a Live 360 or any of those other find your Google phone apps. Google apps, find your phone on iPhones, any of that stuff, it's recorded. We can find you. The OnStar in your car, they can find you. So what's happened in this Murdoch case is um, OnStar finally released the records and they have, pro- have shown he was there at the time of the murders, before the murders occurred, when he said he wasn't. He was actually there. His car was. Oh, his car was. His car was. And, and he's already said he had the car and gone around. There was around. something about her phone was moving he in was, the car, too, yeah. or something. Well, yeah, they could track her phone. They knew, but well, they found her phone beside the road away from the property and they took his OnStar records and looked at where his car went and what speed he was going. And right where her phone was found, he slowed down for X distance and then speeded back up to the, to the speed to he was going to before. Phone. And it was to slow down and toss so the phone out. that they didn't know where her phone was. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they're fine. I mean, again, it, this, war, this day and age, it's harder careful. and harder to, you know, pull anything like this off. If, if it's handled... Properly, if the investigation's handled properly, they get all these records, then they can find you. I mean, they know where you were, when you made the call, how long, and where you were, how fast you were going, all nine yards. So, whew, whole nine yards. That's another saying. Where does it come from? Because it sounds like fabric. That's what I was going to say. Because a bolt like holds nine yards. The whole nine yards. So you get the whole bolt, it's the whole nine yards. We talked, somebody said they enjoyed our, our uh, word origins. Word origins, phrase origins. We do too, so. That is yep. a good one. We are nuts. Whole, but yeah, Pauline Yards. Yards. It's a fabric reference. Hmm. One of those things. I mean, that's how it used to be. They put more, I think they put more on. Okay, that's backwards. I know they put more. Sorry. <laughs> I don't make any it's sense. It's her knitting. I, yeah, She's I, holding it backwards. I have 14 different things going at one time. You do. You do. You're I doing really well. do. I feel like you're doing, doing pretty well, actually. Yeah, I actually managed to hold a whole thought there for a while you remember we were talking about the murdoch cases that's what i was I impressed do. with you're talking about the <laughs> murdoch i went back to the murdoch case yeah. after i went round and round about dead bodies else. in a closet dead bodies in a closet yeah yeah i really did have to y'all it's it's really good i took a old um sweater store-bought sweater not a, a knit, hand knit one and um that the cats had ripped a hole on in the front so i took a pair of scissors and i stabbed the crap out of the sweater <laughs> I was holding it in there just to stab it on, and then I soaked it with fake blood and and put it on my dummy and um, wrestled her into it. I put a t-shirt on her and um, an old pair of my pants that don't fit anymore. I don't have a chance of fitting. I had to safety pin them around her because she's skinnier than I am, but she's about this much taller, so she's got this much leg sticking out the bottom of those pants. And the kids are like, "And the kids are like, where where'd you get those capris for?" I said. They're one pair of my pants and they're ankle length, thank you. <laughs> On me. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a pretty tall dummy. It's one of those She's artists. Tall, um, mannequins. Mannequins, yeah, for doing yeah. figure drawings and stuff like that. Our old art teacher gave me his male and his female, and then there's a kid, so I got all excited about having a family. Um, to murder. <laughs> family. Um, oh, God, I can't think of the word. Annihilation. They call it family <laughs> annihilation. When they when you kill a whole family, it's a family annihilation. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. My brain. I have these strangest conversations. I really do. You do. You do. I really do. I think we both do though. Yeah. The things that we end up talking about. Yeah, so I need to start I need to stop casting on the story. <laughs> start finishing stuff. Although I had two FOs today. You did have two FOs. But you I cast on what? Three, four, five things this last two weeks. This last week, at least three. At least three. Um, and I'm going to cast on. I'm going to cast on that cow with the fuzzy and the sparkle. I just can't wait to knit with that sparkle and that yarn together. I think it's going to be so pretty. It's going to be pretty. It'll be pretty. I got this Nicole Hugh Loco yarn. I got to do something. I just, it's too pretty to not do something with. Okay. Yeah. I got plans, people. I got plans. Plans. I got plans. 
when we go to the beach for spring break, I'm going to take a whole trunk load of car, of yarn. I don't have a trunk. I have an SUV. The whole back is going to be yarn. You got that big old bag to carry all your products. I, got, I do. Too. I'm going to fill that backpack up. We're take talking all about. my good stuff with me. We're going to go to um, Panama City. Ooh, that'll Visit be my fun. Aunt. It's a long, it's seven hours, so it'll yeah, be a good drive to get some done. Yeah. I don't, I hope that's the same week as spring break for um, Anderson University is us, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Well, you're all, aren't you all computer? Online? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's just nice to not have to worry about it on break. Yeah, but it's better to do online classes at the beach than it is at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're not lying there. Because I had to do that when back when I was getting my license. Mm. I started teaching without a teaching license, so I had to get one. I had to qualify pretty quick. Yeah. And back then, well, there was a few. There were a few classes I could get online then. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's not a lot of it is online now. It but, is now, but it wasn't back then. Yeah. That's been 21 years ago. I was pregnant while I was going to classes because I had to go through a program where I went to class every day from eight to five. For the entire summer, mm. but I ended up with like almost twenty. I had eight. I got eighteen hours of credit with that program. Nice. Yeah, and then I just had to do a few other classes that I could do online at the local community college. Nice. Yeah. So that worked. Worked out well. Yeah. It worked. I just did an alternate route certification. That's a big thing now. Mm-hmm. They're so hard up for teachers. They are. And like in our science department, we have seven people and. Camille went to school to be a science teacher, didn't she? Mm-hmm. I think Eric did too. No, Eric has an, had environmental environmental oh, degree. Yeah, that's he worked right. environmental. That's right. It's just Emily and Camille are the only ones who went to school to be a, a science teacher. Yeah, and the rest of us all went. We're in industry yeah, or we're working at outside stuff, and then Came into certified yeah. later to be a teacher. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so five of the seven are alternate routes. Yeah, they say those that can't teach. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Um, we're good scientists, we're by good, the way. Yeah, just, we really just are. I want to put that out there, but we really are. Ugh, I think we're about ready to wrap so, up, aren't we? Look at you knitting away. I think that's pretty. Oh no, I'm tired. Look at this little. Yeah, it's been a gray, icky, overcast yes, day today, so we're kind of we were wore out. I, let, I had and I I, I couldn't leave school till four o'clock. So after four o'clock, so she waited for me. Yeah. Well, and that, that five-page paper this weekend is still kicking my butt, even though it's over. Yeah. Like, it just is so much. But she made 100 on it. That's right, I did. And the professor wants to use it for an example. Don't know why. In future classes, so it must have been pretty darn good. It was... Um, she said it... She's saying it wasn't a good paper, but her professor thinks it is, so... Um, I had, that's really all that matters in the long run. Well, I had to interview somebody, and I had a girl lined up for weeks... And um, Friday rolled around. She still hasn't answered my interview she questions. She ghosted you. Mm-hmm. So look how me using popular so terminology. Fun. So proud of you. <laughs> so I literally did the only thing I could think to do. I went onto LinkedIn and I sent the same message to six, seven people. Hey, I just need somebody to answer these questions, please, so I can pass my class. <laughs> I was even calculating Vaguely. if I made a zero on it, I would still have an a, a B in the class, but that meant I couldn't make a B in anything. And like I was. Panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had a wonderful girl, Casey. I know you're not going to watch this, but Casey, you're wonderful, and I love you. Um, <laughs> poor kid. She was like, poor kid. She's older than I am. I was calling her a kid, but she's. If this is not a scam, I'd be happy to help you. I swear it's not a scam. Just answer my questions, please. <laughs> please, please, yeah. please, please, please. Zach wasn't sure what was. He's like, "Are you okay? Nope, I'm not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. That's okay." It all worked out. It worked out. out, yeah. And you got hungry. God got some, God's got this. And yep. you're going to be the example paper. Example paper. Example so paper. So for those of you, you reading my paper, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. I'm it, sure I mean, it's good. It's not bad, but I def- it could have been better. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, but you're, be you're so OCD about this stuff. Yeah. You're but, good enough is like way better than <laughs> anybody else. 99.9% of the people could come put together. She's very good. Very good at this stuff. She really is. And it just comes, it comes naturally, which makes people mad. Oops. I now I ran right over. My brother and sister were always the type of people they never had to study. I always had to study. So maybe that's part of it. Is it like I had to work hard? I don't know. Maybe. No, I think you just doubted yourself. I bet you could have done it without all the studying, too. 
but you mm-hmm. always were obsessive about dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Middle child. Middle child syndrome. Yep, that's me. I was the oldest. <laughs> Doesn't she just... Still am. I was. It's not like I was the oldest. Yeah, I still yeah, am the oldest. still the oldest. But still am. Still am. Um, I still haven't gotten my knitting notebook together. Oh, no. And, and I've started all the pages. I just haven't. It's just not flowing for me yet. I'm getting there. We haven't done it. I'm, 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 Football season is over yet. now. Is over now, and um, I can get more done on weekends instead yeah. of watching everything on obsessively on the television. Because last weekend was Super Bowl, so it was all football all the time. Mm-hmm. And it mean weekend before last, and then this past weekend we just had um, we were gone, mm-hmm. so I didn't get to work on anything. Yeah, I mean, at weekend. the house, kind of stuff. But I, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Yeah, you will. I will. As um, will I. Yeah. I'm just one day at a time. Yes, and don't make me sing. <laughs> Amazing. My kids will know from far far away that I sang, so we won't we won't do that. Um, I can't think of anything else. I can't either. I think we've covered everything we talked about covering. I think so. All our our fos and whips and and wanna do's. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of wanna do's. A lot a lot a lot of wanna do's. We could sing it like Xanadu. Wanna do. We could. That'd be our new theme song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because the there's a lot we want to do. And and there's a lot we want to do. Get to it. Yeah. Uh, want to do's. Yeah. There you go. Want to do's and bag binge. Bag binge. Bag like binge. It. That's this. That's me for sure. And not she is too now. I mean, I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Once I introduced her to Portland leather, it was all over. I. You know, they do those tailored ads. I had seen their ads for so long, and I just ignored it and ignored yeah. it. <laughs> And the Me too, goes. and then I, then I ordered from them, and, and that was it. Yeah, it, one bag in, and we were hooked, hooked, big time. The mystery big boxes. Time. I still haven't ever ordered mystery box because I know all I'm going to get is ugly stuff. colors. Oh, the greatest. Stuff. And I'm picky about my leather. I only like the pebbled, soft, bushy leather. But there is a great website to resell, so like people will yeah. buy your your mystery box stuff you don't like. But gosh, they do such good things. I know. I love that. They have the best leather. I really do oh, like their leather. Amazing. Okay, we should go. We are We're babbling again. and rambling now. Okay. Um, thank you for hanging with us, those of you who have been here. Yes. Um, be sure and click like and subscribe. Please. Help us get to our 1,023. So we can do a giveaway. That's right. Um, we appreciate everybody. We'll do the show notes and get this thing up as quick as we can. Yeah. All right, everybody. Knit, Knit periodically. periodically. <laughs>